Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about a few of my top picks that I'm personally stacking here in the summer of 2023. So if you want to know what my solid picks are here during this turmoil, you're going to want to watch through this video. So let's get started. All right, before we really get started here, let me first remind you that this isn't financial advice. This is crypto. You need to do your own research when it comes to crypto and building a portfolio. Now I get it. I understand that watching through videos like this is also part of doing your research. So I appreciate that you've taken time out of your day. Come on over here and watch one of my videos. I thank you very much and I'd also like to encourage you though to head on over to the websites of these projects read through the websites, read through the white papers, get a better understanding of who the project is behind, or who's behind the project, what the project's all about, what they set out to do, get a better understanding and more confidence in the project because when you do, you will be able to stick around with the project through hard times, especially when the whole entire market dumps like it is right now, you will stick around because you've got the confidence due to a better understanding in the project, okay? Now, looking at the market here right now, this is some pretty crazy stuff that's happening, isn't it? I mean, it's no surprise. We all know right now the markets are taking a huge dump. There's a huge attack right now on crypto. The SEC is attacking crypto like crazy, and the market is experiencing a bloodbath. Look at all the red, right? I mean, when we look at stuff like this, Cardano, it's down more than 30% over the past seven days, right? Past couple of days, mostly, right? And then Solana, 28%. Uh, even Litecoin at 20%. We got Polygon Matic at 35% down over the past week. That's huge, right? So a lot of the market is taking a bloodbath. But the question is this, because the market is down, everything is down, what are going to be the best picks? What do you want to choose to ride back up when the market starts to really rise in this bull market. What are the best things to take a look at, right? Well, let me share with you what my personal picks are when it comes to this, okay? All right, the first one right here, this man, Richard Hart. Yes, this man, Richard Hart. I'm betting on this guy here, okay? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm talking about this ecosystem. I'm talking about Richard Hart's ecosystem, which include Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex. All three of them. Let's make it a trio to make it one pick, all right? Now, of course, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, a little bit more of that because those are first cycle coins. Those are just projects that have just started, just come out. Hex has been around a few years, right? So yes, when it comes to it, this token, it's a trio, all three of them together. All right, let's head over to PLS Burn. Okay, here on this website, PLS Burn, you got a lot of great information here on this website, okay? Head on over here, check it out. This website is being updated with more and more information all the time with it. I really like this website and what you can do and just really dig into this website. It looks really simple, but it's not. There's a lot to this website, okay? and a lot more they're building on here. There's their on-ramp right here. I got other videos that show you how to use this, walk you through it, right? Go check them out, okay? Now, when we look at this, PLS, this is the price. This is dirt cheap, guys, seriously. Do you know what the sacrifice price was? The sacrifice price, or people sacrificed, like myself, we waited, almost, we waited like almost two years for this. We waited a year and a half for PulseX, almost two years for Pulse Chain. It was 0 .0001 for the pulse chain sacrifice price, okay? And now this is what it is, it's lower. You get a better deal if you didn't sacrifice, much better deal right now, okay? And then same with Pulse X. look at the price. You got a huge discount. Hex, right now, we're at a penny. Yeah, but is it really gonna make it back up? Well, let me tell you this, let me ask you this. When it comes to the projects, okay, what do you think is the most important thing? What do you think is one of the main things that you should consider when it comes to a project? This is what I consider, right? Whether it be a meme coin, a crypto gaming, NFT, uh, layer one blockchain, layer twos, whatever it is, is this, the community. How strong of a community is there? And what kind of a cult-like following is there behind the project? With Hex, you've got over 30,000 people in the Telegram. With Pulse Chain, you've got over 60,000 people in the Telegram, and they're not bots in there, all right? This is a strong community. 
I believe the community is one of the most important things when it comes to a crypto ecosystem, okay? Now, when it comes to the market cap, when it comes to the supply, I know there's that question. Look at how cheap the price is, but what about the supply? What about the market cap? It's too large to go anywhere. You know, I've mentioned this before. The, uh, the market cap, the supply. You know what comes to the supply? 90, 95% of that supply, it needs to be taken out. You can't consider that. That's part of the OA address. It could dump on you. Yeah, but it hasn't. All right. So we're going to take that out. Don't consider that. Because when we take a look at that right now, look at this. The market cap for Pulse Chain is $12 billion. It's not that bad. Still, it's still got a lot of growth. Right. I'd be happy with a. I'd be happy with a good 10x. I'd be happy with a good 50x. Absolutely, right? You know, it's going to do very well, even at a 12 billion market cap. Okay, and same with PLSX, right? Market cap, 4.8 billion, right? Still got a really huge, lots of room to go, I believe. Okay, now and same with Hex. Look at this. Okay, one right now it's at 7.2 billion, right? But remember what I said. You got to take out that 90, 95 percent. And you know what you can do on this website? Check this out. You see this right here? Exclude the OA. Click it. And now look at the market caps. Okay? Check this out. 1.3 billion is down there. See, that's better. Can you see this doing 100 billion market cap? That's 100x, about, right? Pretty good. I think so. What about PulseX? Look at 698. Can you, can you can it do over 100? Yeah, I think it can do very well right what's ethereum at <laughs> right come on guys right okay hex look at 952 million now right you see this button right here that's what i'm talking about it's now nothing's guaranteed it's not the exact amount but it's a pretty good estimate all right so absolutely i think this is a great pick i'm standing behind this ecosystem all right so what do i got next well next i've got chain link now, outside that ecosystem, here I am. This is what I got. I got Chainlink. I really like this project. I've been liking this one for a while now, especially as it's been dirt cheap. When it was around 10 bucks, eight, nine, 10 bucks, right? Man, this was a great deal, right? Well, I'll let me show you what the price is down at the bottom of this market, man. Man, you're gonna be loving it because this is a huge discount for this project here right now. Well, why Chainlink? What's this all about? Well, it's about connecting the world to blockchains. Really, that's what it's all about, right? Now, check this out. The price, right? $5.07 for Chainlink. Like, man, check it out, man. You know what? Five, the last price, or the, alt, the previous all-time high for Chainlink was $55, okay? I believe that's what it was, right? Or am I mistaken at 52, right? When you look down here at, well, okay, $52.70 was the previous all-time high. You're still looking at almost 11x just to get back to the previous all-time high. Do I believe it's even going to make it back there? Hey, no guarantees, right? This isn't guarantees, but I do. I believe it's going to do very well, okay? Why? What's it all about? Why, why, why Chainlink, right? Well, the future of finance is on chain. The future of finance is with Chainlink's CCIP. This, if you don't understand what this is, this is key. This is key for the financial institutions, right? What exactly is the CCIP? Well, the CCIP is this. It's the cross-chain interoperability protocol. It provides a universal open standard for developers to build secure services and applications that can send messages, transfer tokens, and initiate actions on a cross multiple blockchain networks. CCIP provides smart contract developers a generalized compute enabled infrastructure for transferring data and smart contracts commands across blockchain networks. CCIP will underpin a variety of cross-chain services such as the Chainlink Programmable Token Bridge, which will empower users to move their tokens across any blockchain network in a highly secure, scalable, and cost-efficient manner. What does that all mean? Well, it means this in simple terms. It enables financial institutions to then communicate with several different blockchains within the different blockchains to the financial institutions as well at the same time. So interoperable for the financial institutions to speak to the blockchains and then with multiple blockchains. 
This is necessary for uh, the financial service industry such as SWIFT, okay? Check this out, SWIFT. Now, even this date here, now I've seen this announced and I've talked about this before a long time ago, several months ago, but now here is the latest, all right? June 8th, this was yesterday. SWIFT partners with Chainlink in a billion dollar market to streamline tokenized asset settlement, all right? SWIFT has announced that it will partner with prominent banks and Chainlink to experiment with linking private and public permissionless blockchains. SWIFT is what's used for transferring money around the world, right? It's able to do that communication when it comes to wiring the money and everything. This is something that like XRP has been dreaming about for so long. Well, Chainlink's got it, right? It's here. This is key when it comes to decentralized finance and the financial institutions, blockchains, interoperability, connecting everything together. So do you understand the power that on what is going to happen with Chainlink? I think this has got some great potential. Well, that's it. Those are my picks. If you found any value at all in this content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below and let me know, are you stacking any of these cryptos? Or what are your favorite picks when it comes to crypto this summer here in 2023, all right? And then, hey, if you are enjoying the content that I am putting out here and you're not yet subscribed, well, you know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. In the meantime, I believe that uh, there's another video right about here that YouTube's recommending for you. Head on over there, check that video out. I'll see you there and you have a great day. Bye for now.